in this video, we're going to show you guys, at least at this point, uh, some of y'all who are hip-hop fans, how to get into the Go Conversation, or how your favorite rapper can get into the Go Conversation. Now, this particular video, I'm going to make sure I level it down to y'all, make sure everything is in place. Um, I have a checklist here. They just got to follow a single checklist uh, that I will put right here, if anybody would love to follow along with it. Um, but... It's going off as a simple standard because the reason I say this is because you have to think broadly of what the GOAT criteria is when it comes to hip hop artists, rappers, uh, sometimes singers, depending on the scenario. Um, mostly, preferably, for what I'm talking about strictly is rappers and uh, rappers and artists as a whole because sometimes people do not get the definition of rap as a whole because, again, they fail to understand the actual abbreviation of rap, which is rhythm and poetry. Like, I swear to God, like half of the decade, these guys that are in the mainstream now fail to understand that. But other than that, I'm not even going to sit there and get upset with them because they clearly only do it for the money, which, again, they can do that, but they're not going to get involved in the go conversation at all, like, even if they try. So, um... I'll say probably a few. I'll give you I'll give you a few people that will probably get into that. And that is only it. Like out of those guys, that's it. The majority of the mainstream rappers, hell no. Fuck no. <laughs> so let us get into the list for y'all. Number one of the GOAT uh, checklist is consistency. You have to be consistent with your uploads. Now, when I mean by consistent. And I had to level this down considering how many people have been putting out singles left and right, for example, Future. And I realized that I have to level it down to almost, like, what? I would probably say, like, have you been consistent over a year? And I think it's safe to say that helps because the reason I say that is because, um, like, half of them are just literally, like, pulling pulling songs out every month and it makes no sense so uh, like i said before you have to at least, at least realize that almost half of them are probably either going to pull out an album with almost 13 to 16 songs because i know people have extended to almost like 13 15 14 depending on the scenario uh but mostly the defaults of 10 um then you have to have to be sure and this is coming from someone who actually knows this you have to be sure that you're willing to also have any other tracks that are going to be coming out beside that if you put random singles out um like that probably happened like right during like i don't know probably during like the summer or anything like that then i'll give you that but if you're just just putting out stuff just for the money then I can easily tell that you're just not going to even fit the GOAT conversation at all, so... It, it's obvious. The reason that the Go criteria matters in this scenario is because you have to be super careful on who you literally trust as far as consistency is concerned. And when it comes to consistency as a whole, that means if you have better bars, you change your content around, and most importantly, you gave a leak you gave at least a few a few vocab vocabulary capacitated um, words into the whole entire album because of almost every single album that I've actually went through uh, the solid I give you a good at least like a solid vocabulary capacity you can get from uh, albums especially when it comes to certain albums um, depending on a just a regular rapper in general it's like almost 250 to 300 um but to these guys they reach about like almost to the ten thousands and this is where i draw the line with certain people because people don't get like if you're literally having that type of vocabulary capacity in that s s certain gap of almost 10 to 15 albums then you clearly are in the go conversation now some people will take that out of context it's total albums as a go conversation now if you take that out of context that's not gonna work the reason i say that is because you need to realize that are they really rapping in 
in there? Are they actually putting their emphasis into this? Are they actually taking their heart out and putting it into the track? That's what I'm talking about. And people fail to understand that that's the whole point of being an artist and a rapper too. So another thing is rhythm patterns. Now the rhythm patterns um, I was talking about is more tempo and um, more on the acoustic um, type of side. The reason I say that is because um, there are certain uh, artists that just use techno beats and I let it slide once, uh, but then I realized there was so many, um, so many rappers that are using it today. I just feel like it, there had to be a certain one that is skilled to put that in perspective and make sure they actually use it wisely. Otherwise, there's really no point in you being in the conversation. Now, if you use a certain um, beats that are actually based on on the instruments that are used, then that helps. Again, like I said. You have to use the certain amount of music that is based around any type of instrument. It can be techno, but also add at least a little bit of acoustic music. That way, um, it won't be that much of a problem. Now, that is the part of that, which goes to the third part, which almost half of these damn rappers don't even have, which... Uh, unfortunately, it, it makes me disappointed. Like, you guys are only doing it for money, but mm, it is what it is, man. And this part, uh, you have to be having an experience of a regular MC. And this is where I draw the line with people because they fail to understand the experience of a regular MC. Now, I can argue, and this kind of goes drawing the line, that having these mainstream rappers that is talking about money, drugs, and all that shit, how much you want to guarantee that an MC is better than them. I'm being serious. I'm being 100% serious. An MC can be literally better than a mainstream rapper. Because the mainstream rapper's like level of skill has deteriorated to a point. And I'm not talking about like uh, J. Cole or anything like that. Those guys, they're on their own lane and they're not even part of the mainstream media because Half of the time, half of their songs don't even reach, reach that type of um, reach that type of level of fame. Same with everything on the radio. So going back to what I was saying from before, you can't put J Cole and Kendrick Lamar in those same perspectives. Because before all that, the mainstream wasn't trying. And then this happened back in 2016. They deteriorated the level of skill that's supposed to be in the. Um, the level of rap and what it's actually supposed to be so again going back to what i was saying you put that in such a deterioration it doesn't work and then they go on the radio but they don't even add into the go conversation even if the fans try to tell you that they don't even fit into that go criteria at all so it just doesn't seem to add up um then then there's the fourth one the fourth one which is the battle rap expert. Now, a lot of them don't really have that type of experience, which kind of makes them a top 25 to at least top 50 um, type of um, one of the greats, at least, like at least around that type. Like, these type of rappers will fit, fit into like the top 25 to top 50. Because the reason I said that is because um, Battle rap experience is definitely important when it comes to diss tracks. This is exactly why I brought it up, because a lot of people fail to understand why diss tracks, you cannot have a diss track if you do not know how to battle rap. This is exactly why I said that, because people fail to understand that. And when they fail to understand that, they go lower instead of higher. So, again, like I said, you have to make sure that you're capable of that. Now, the next one is very simple. Like, almost half of these MCs already know this. Um, figurative language master. If you know that you need to have at least almost half of the figurative language in there, like onomatopoeia or, uh, uh, um, um, there's a, quite a few, but, um, uh, homophones, any similes, metaphors, like, you have to have those specific to even get into that type of conversation. If you master just those four in general, you can 
outrageously reach the Go comics. Now, another one is creativity. Like, you have to be creative of what you're talking about when it comes to um, music, and a lot of people fail to understand that. Now, rappers can also be just regular artists. They can sing, but not at a high level as any regular R&B singer. They can do that. Again, it doesn't have to be on an R&B level. You just have to at least sing, I would probably say like to the middle, at least like 50-50. If you can sing 50-50, then you're good. You don't need to literally, um, you don't have to be an R&B singer in order to reach this type of um, creativity. You don't need to. And this is where I kind of say that as a uh, prime example. Now, here's another thing, and which goes straight to number seven, changing content. Now, that was another thing that is a big impact on mainstream today. They refuse to change content and only focus on money, cars, and all that. Shit. Now, that doesn't mean they they won't reach the conversation as much but they're definitely not going to be number one because the reason i said that is because like i said you have to literally have almost all of this all of this you literally have to have all of this and this is where i draw the line with it. now another one is maybe a few things that maybe quite a few of them have but not a lot of them have which is artistic view the artistic view, and, and this is where I kind of like say this as a person, half of these rappers, and I mean the mainstream ones now that are being announced into the XXL freshman class and all that shit, half of these guys don't really have an artist view. And the reason I say they don't even have an artist view is because they don't even know what the hell they're even doing in here. They're just doing this shit for money. Now, going back to what I was saying from other people, I'll give you a prime example of someone who is literally on that type of artistic view that could reach the GOAT conversation. That is in this type, that are probably in this main, mainstream media today. Corday. Corday is literally in that type of conversation where he can reach the artistic view. And the reason I say that is because he actually took the level of a regular MC and then decided to go with it and as he progressed he's getting better and going back to what i was saying from before the artistic view is very important because if you're not going to have the will to like use the artistic view as a, as a way to um express how you feel in certain music then why the hell do you even do music in the first place now granted like i said i don't care what these guys do for money do what you gotta do but if your fans are trying to say here that <laughs> you're all part of the conversation, then there has to be expectations. God damn it, I'm not joking. You have to have expectations. And when you don't have expectations, you are completely cut out of the conversation. Now, this one right here is for almost the majority of rappers that are in the top 100. Because... I swear to God, y'all somehow manage to not realize that this is one of the most important parts of the criteria. At least one, not the most, but one. And this is the last one. Last but not least, Boom Bap 101. Come on, dog. You have to figure out a way to at least rap on that beat. If you can't rap on a beat on Boom Bap, then, dude, you're done. You're done. I'm sorry, but it just doesn't seem to add up how people don't think that, oh yeah, Boom Bap is overrated. My guy, if you don't know how to fucking do it, you clearly are not a good rapper to begin with. To even go into this conversation. Like, where's the conversation in that? So, going through almost half of these, that is literally all you have to be to fit that go conversation. Consistency. Uh, rhythm patterns, uh, an experience of an MC, battle rap expert, figurative language master, creativity, changing content, artistic view, and boom bap 101. Like, come on. 
Like, that is all you fucking need. Oh, and before anybody thinks that punchlines are, are important, you should already know by the time you literally try to reach this type, this type of level, you should already know that, bro, punchlines are important. That's the whole point of a rap. That's the whole point of a rap song. If you don't have punchlines or anything like that, if you just have one simple thing, then you you are probably a little lower in the conversation, but not even close to the top 10. Like, again, going back to what I was saying from before, you have to recognize that if you don't even have any of this, then <laughs> that conversation is done at that point. And plus, and let me give you guys a little bit of a rundown how to do this, because I think it'll be best. Number one. You have to exceed expectations when it comes to lyricism. If you can't, then that kind of just leaves you down to the top 100, to the top 80? Like, literally, that's... If you go, like... I'll probably say if you stop at top 65 to 100, that's where the level of rap doesn't even fall down to the, uh, to the category of lyricism. Because... If you just have bars, but no punchlines or anything like that, that then it kind of just doesn't fit. Then if you only have, only can rap fast, it, say if you have a fast flow, like a chopper, so that's fair. But if you can't even reach the conversation up to the point where you not even up there, up there with people like such as like Tech Nine, because Tech Nine is a fast rapper, but at least you can actually see where he's coming from, like from an artistic view, and most importantly, he's saying. He has punchlines. He has, um, well, actually, yeah, he has a lot of figurative language. If I'm <laughs> going to keep it 100% with y'all. Because, dude, <laughs> the level of figurative language this man understands is crazy. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. So, of course, he, he definitely deserves to be top 25. And that is where I'm going to have to leave it there. Now, I really hope you guys understand like tell me if you're a fan of a certain rapper in the comments please let me know if he fits these criteria. uh let me know who he is and let me know if he actually fits these criteria. if he doesn't then um and if i already reviewed him before please please I, I, i'm i'm willing to have this discussion with y'all about it like like i'm not gonna criticize y'all because y'all don't know any better so that's something that I already know because y'all don't know any better, and it'll be best if y'all just y'all just tell me in the comments what your favorite rappers are. Um, if they fit this go criteria, and um, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments what you guys really think of this video. And make sure to tell me in the comments what's your favorite rapper and if they fit the GO criteria. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell to join the Iron Hive today. It's been Zed, guys. Later.